are you he man yeah why yo did you see the new master universe revelations on netflix that show was nah but if you want i could kick a funky rock Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nerd and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. Busting it open since 2007. And today we will be reviewing Masters of Universe, Masters Verse, Revelation He-Man. Now yes, I do have other figures within the line. This cartoon just premiered on, um, on Netflix, uh, Netflix, what was it, on the 23rd of July. And yes, there's a lot of controversy and um, issues surrounding this animated series. Some people love it, the majority of people don't. Me, myself, I mean, there are videos and I will put in a, put in a, um, in a note right up here above as to where you can check out this video and my thoughts, my co-hosts, my thoughts, and other people that attended or, you know, viewed the video of my review of Master of the Universe. But regardless of the, um, of the cartoon, my, the cartoon has nothing to do with my imagination, so therefore, and I told you guys I was going to purchase the toys. I've had, um, and yes, I do have the other characters within the line, like uh, Evelyn, uh, Mossman, uh, Skelegod, and stuff like that, and Skeletor. And I will be reviewing them individually because I want to see how they look by themselves. Now, um, it comes in, let's bring this a little bit closer. Let's bring this a little bit closer. It comes in a beautiful, beautiful window box right here. Has Motu Revelations down at the bottom. Mattel right there. Has nice, uh, you gotta pardon me, I sat on this by mistake because I was going to play video games and I sat it on my, um, and I put the package on top of my um, guitar stool and I sat on it by mistake because I was getting excited playing this game. He-Man, most powerful man in the universe. Beautiful, beautiful. Got a beautiful box art on the side of He-Man right here looking great. Uh, nice box art um, on the back you have box art and you have a little bit of a bio it says He-Man the most powerful man in the universe defender of Castle Grayskull protector of eternity and guardian of the entire universe there's nobody stronger faster or braver than the mighty He-Man he's quite simply the most powerful man in the universe past present and future a vessel for the mysterious powers of Grayskull power of Grayskull He-Man inspires the heroes of Eternia to fight the forces of evil without He-Man Eternia and the universe would be doomed yeah Pretty much wish they would have went into that, um, kept that theory of philosophy and um, making the first season of uh, Mass Universe Revelations. But um, yeah, you have other figures within the line. We have He-Man right here, Mossman, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn by Mattel. Got Hazard um, symbols down there, and it's also available. You know, and these are the other figures within the line. Again, this this box art is pretty neat on the back. I think I like this one on the side more than I do the back. And, uh, you know, you got your legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom, barcode, so on and so forth. Serial numbers made in Vietnam, Mattel shop. We got Masterverse on the top, 30 points of articulation. And, yeah, it's made for ages 6 and up. Netflix logo right there. And, yeah, I think that's it about the box. And, it's, and again, I told you, so no, it's in a window box. So, hopefully you guys will like this. And, yeah, I think I covered everything. Now, I do like the way the box is shaped and everything like that. It has a nice um, symmetrical yet um symmetrical look to it i like that it's different design typical boss but it's different design and within the line you can actually line these up if you didn't want to open them you can line these guys up like thus so and have a nice little collage going on of the master universe figures so on and so forth so yeah um yeah we're gonna you know what I, there's so much i have to talk about with this figure right here that um Let's bust open the package and see if this guy's worth the scratch, and then we're gonna really get into it, okay? 
All right. And here we have He-Man looking great right here. I mean, I, I love He-Man. I love He-Man. I don't care how he's written or whatever the case may be. The stories have nothing to do with my imagination. Although I do love the original stories that came out when I was young, that came with the mini comics, you know, the Filmation series, not so much the Mike Young series, Mike Young Productions. Absolutely. I mean, I think that is the best He-Man um, He storyline or, or series to date. Um, yeah, but enough of my personal feelings in terms of um, the He-Man series and the books and comic books. Uh, filmation series the cartoon so on and so forth let's get back to this figure this figure is amazing i absolutely love it and you know a lot of people feel as though since they didn't like the show and you know or whatever the case may be that they you know and they're not going to collect the toys and i understand that but everybody's different me myself i love he-man regardless again as i stated before my imagination with these toys when i have my adventures they're usually not in line with whatever's on the cartoon or whatever because when i played with my action figures when i was a kid especially my he-man action figures it I would make my battles bloody and violent to where like arms are getting chopped off and you know they're using magic to put them back together and all that other stuff so this figure right here is absolutely amazing I'm so far I'm looking at it and I'm loving the articulation that has that Mattel decided to give them you know you, you got like uh you got the pinless joints and stuff like that which is up to modern you know it's up to modern standard or um quality that you're getting from most action figures you have this beautiful let's bring this closer you have this nice sword now i do mind that it's a little bit different from the um sword but at this at the same token i like it because it's longer it's longer i do feel as though the the um pretty much like the crown of the sword right here could have been a little bit bigger or more you know profound or whatever but i love the way you have the handle down there not that much detail but you have a nice silver paint going on over top of the flat gray the silver is a shiny glittery paint got some nice sculpting within the sword looking real good nothing on the bottom or anything like that good painting good painting you got two separate hands right here that you can you know grip with either side if you want to put um the sword in either which you know either hand of he-man this wonderful pardon me got this wonderful wonderful shield right here now it isn't as good as the motu um motu classic shield or the 2000x shield but i love the way they gave it the realistic class or like um straps in the inside right here you know not that much detail or coloring or anything like that it's made out of a solid plastic the plastic is hard as well as the hands are hard plastic sword hard plastic um but it's good i mean like you know no bleeding within the um within the coloring of the shield you got orange going on right here in the shield and it looks really good you know you got the little rivets going around the shield looks real good and um yeah that's that's it for the accessories it pretty much came with a shield two hands and a sword now backing this up and bringing this figure close we can look at now his face is ugly to me I don't, i'm not really digging his face and you know he man was never really a handsome man to me until he came into the filmation series now one thing i can say filmation made a lot of those characters handsome when it was the good guys they looked good like he man looked good the coloring of him i don't mind do i expect i expect him to be a bit more tanner but this is cool right here he's a big blonde dude so i i mean like boom it's all right i still like it i'm loving it eyes are, eyes are okay not no photo reel or anything going on like that but um, the body sculpt I absolutely love. I'm loving the wraps on the boots. Now, what I didn't like is that they put the, they put like heels on his boots. All, what I always liked about He-Man is that, and this is the Motu Classics He-Man, is the fact that he had like barbarian boots where it was just like wrapped up cloth and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a comparison later on, but I still don't mind it. They still kept the, classic look of he-man is it as detailed and shaded as the motu classics no not at all but it's still nice i'm loving the articulation i'm glad that mattel took the ad took the opportunity to literally give them point give these characters points of articulation and i will be having a lot of fun posing these having adventures or whatever case and taking pictures of him he looks great as you can see the loincloth is very big and long i love that i've always loved the fact that he-Man was basically big dudes running around in barbarian clothes, half naked, beating up each other, lifting rocks and stuff like that. Like, like, because I was a big fan of Conan the Barbarian. At that time, they didn't really have Conan the Barbarian toys. So the next best thing that I was able to get was He-Man. And they did come out with one Conan action figure back then. And we're talking back back in the 80s. But it was very, very hard to find. But this figure looks great. 
Now the side profile of them looks absolutely amazing. The harness is removable and it's done out of a vinyl, but I'm not gonna take it off or anything like that. Again, like the detail, you know, you got the raised H, H right here, which stands for He-Man. And of course they took the iron cross away or the, you know, the cross symbol that he had in his chest. They did a little bit cheaper than, cause again, they have to mass produce these guys and stuff like that. So they did a little bit cheaper than the Motu Classics right here, but I'm still liking this build. A lot of people think the head is too small. I think the head is just right. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Now I will more than likely buy the Faker He-Man and use a Faker head on him right here but as you can see in the hair they try to give it some little um highlights and darkening lines and it's poorly done in terms of like making his hair look a little bit you know realistic because in person in hand the shading or the blonde highlights or the 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 darkening within the hair looks a little bit cheesy this character this this figure doesn't have much shading or darkening lines to it but it has tons of detail loving the body sculpt right here i love the midsection he's big but he's realistic in certain aspects loving the biceps and everything on him he looks good loving the eyebrows but that face is a little bit funky i don't think he would be smiling because all, all of my other he-man figures never were smiling they were just like you know had like a stoic look or like a serious look with their mouth half open but again back to the boots i love the wraps around the boots they look real real good got the serial number and the holes on the bottom right there as you can see but yeah this is a great figure now in terms of like uh accessories putting the accessories i love the fact that they gave him a fist they finally gave he-man a fist and i love when they give superhero action figures a fist especially somebody like he-man because you know he's going to be punching bad guys he's going to be punching rocks punching everything lifting things so you know you got kind of like the hand right here that you can use to lift things which also goes on to the shield and you see like the nice gauntlet that it has on the side right here and the bracelet that he has over here with and i'm glad that they took that into perspective as far as the representation of he-man because i've always loved now the cartoon they always made him seem like he had two of the same bracelets whereas so with this one they really did their they really did their homework in terms of like i mean it's mattel it's their shit you know but they really went into aspect of how he-man has one that's kind of like a gauntlet and the other one that's his bracelet so i'm liking that right there but i am loving absolutely loving this figure and again it's not that much shading and um wash on this figure which they could have done some with but it's still cool it's still cool now as far as the articulation you can twist the head all around you got nice ab crunch and twist going on right there as you can see you got some nice ab crunch and twist bicep swivel arms on a ball joint double hinged elbow as you can see twist and pivot at the wrist pretty much like a marvel legend or a gi joe classified or whatever nice leg split and everything and again they're on a hinged no yeah nice leg split and i got some nice th cuts at the thighs right there double hinged knee right there so you get the rising knee finally you can put he-man in some real funky poses it's got the ankle rocker and everything and whatever's on this uh, whatever's on this side is on this side as well but yeah i'm loving the way they did the abs now the belt and everything like that they could have they could have gave it a little bit more t detail but i understand for them to mass produce this stuff they have to stay within budget you can always do some custom work if you're good with painting etc etc but i am loving this right here now as far as accessories right you can take the hands off hands easily come off right here let me bring that back a little bit put that in there boom slide the sword in there And there you have him with his sword in his hand. Holds on very good. The grips are very good. The joints are very tight. You can take this off because you're not going to be able to put the shield along with the um, gauntlet on his arm, on his forearm at the same time. And so what you do, you unplug the hand, slide this off, put this on, which I don't know why they did it like that. It's kind of weird. Or maybe I'm just doing it the wrong way, you know? And then, you know, you slide the hand back in here. Now, if you now me myself, I would take the shortcut and just put it right there, you know, so that I wouldn't have to spend so much time. But it's weird. Maybe it goes on the other arm or whatever the case may be. But I'm used to He-Man having his shield on the right arm, on the left arm and the sword in the right, because that's his, you know, battling hand, as with most people. 
Um, but yeah, this this is a beautiful figure, absolutely beautiful. And this is very, it's, it's it's I mean like now the painting on it is not bad. It's done in a solid brown plastic, but you can tell they painted the top yellow, and it's a little clumpy, a little clumpy, but not that bad, you know. But I mean, it's it's not bad for what it's doing, not at all, especially for the price point that they got these going for. It's not bad at all, not bad at all. And I've been seeing now me myself, I have to thank my friend M.M. Howard and other people for now. I got I was able to get Skele God myself um, and uh, who was it? Skele God and Battle Cat myself. But over here in Jersey, those are the only two we have. But other people are seeing these figures pop up everywhere. And actually, some of them have went on sale because of the situation that happened with the netflix cartoon but yeah i'm liking this right here and you can really get some nice poses poses that you were never really able to achieve with he-man you can do now you know and again you know no butterfly joints or anything like that but he has some nice stuff going on this guy is beautiful i'm loving it i'm loving the wing spread that you can get going you can take this off and you know whatever the case may be if you want to take it off and try to put the old if you have a motu classics he-man you can put that on him but this guy, is he as muscular as the other he met? No, but for his design, he's very muscular. He's very big, you know, and I like him. I like him a lot. So I'm going to take some pictures. Hopefully I went over everything, but I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to let you guys see what he looks like. Okay. All right. Be right back. So as a whole, I think this guy is absolutely amazing. And here he is next to my uh, Mattel Motu Classics. And I've had him for a very long time. As you can see, he's seen better days, but I still take very good care of my toys. Um, and yeah, you can see that this new He-Man is actually taller than this one. But I feel as though this one represents more comic book He-Man than, um, than this one. And I, like I said before, there it's not like I don't like them both. This one is just going to be my modern one, and this one will always be my comic book version or whatever the case may be, my comic book He-Man that I absolutely love. Bringing this a little bit closer, after examining him, I noticed that you can, let me bring him over here. You can literally take this shield right here, right? Take the sword right here, because I did. they didn't give this one a sheath, you know, like the old cartoon He-Man had and stuff like that. But you can push it right through here, or if you want to compartmentalize or you know pretty much like get the utility thing going on with them you can take the shield put it like this right let me bring this closer take the shield put it like this take the sword like no, let's see take the sword whichever one is easier for you take the sword travel it take the sword put it through here travel it through his back and boom now i did a pretty much kind of like a sloppy job but you can you you got the idea 
which gives it like a nice little barbarian look. And that's basically what I love He-Man for. He was a big blonde headed barbarian. That's why I liked it. I've always loved it with that was stronger than Conan the Barbarian. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Frazetta's Conan the Barbarian. I love the artwork that they did for Master Universe and everything like that, especially when I was a kid. Like the artwork was superb that came on the boxes and the toys, so on and so forth. But yeah, I don't think this is a bad figure at all. I will be having great adventures with it. I will be having fun posing it, so on and so forth. And yeah, this is in comparison with the Motu Classics. Yes, he is taller than the Motu Classic, but I feel as though the Motu Classic is a bit more detailed and has better darkening than the, um, than the uh, what do you call that, the new one. Do I mind? I like them both, though. As you can see where I was talking about with the hair and stuff like that, they tried to give it a little bit of shading and darkening, but, you know, it looked a little, come, it came off as a little bit cheesy. But he, I am loving this figure right here. Now, he is coming in at about, let me bring this back for you guys. He is coming in at about, let's get the tape measure. He's coming in at about seven inches. Yeah, about seven, a little bit taller than seven inches. And I mean, like, he's great. Here he is next to, boy, oh boy, I'm just making a mess over here. Here he is next to, and I don't like these. I really don't like these. So please don't buy me these or get me these as a gift. I would, you know, I appreciate anything you guys would send, but I would sell this if you send it to me. I don't really like these. Here he is next to Motu Origins. And again, unlike you people, I'm a fan of He-Man. Unlike the people that keep telling me to shut up. Or keep quiet because I didn't like the Motu Revelations cartoon. Let's see you still buy the toys. Since you people are talking about it's still good. Do a video about the toy you just bought about it. Whatever the case may be. Or let's see you compare all the He-Man that you have. Alright. Here he is next to one of my favorites. The New Adventures of He-Man. Here he is. And I will do this later. I will do this later. Here he is next to Motu Classics Battle Cat. And now, believe it or not, the new He-Man action figure, He-Man Battle Cat, is big. It's a big toy. And you can see he pretty much like puts stress. He looks like he's putting stress on the old Motu Classics Battle Cat. So yeah, these figures are absolutely amazing. I will be, be reviewing all of them. And like I told you before, you can do like, you know, you can get like the little accessory thing going on if you don't want to have the shield on his arm all the time and you just want to get like a nice little utility thing going on. You can put the sword in the back of his strap right here, travel it through this hoop right here, as you can see, needle it through the harness and boom, you got him ready for battle, ready to ride into battle. Or you know what I mean? Or like he, you know, he can be standing there talking and stuff like that. He looks great. And again, these joints are very stiff. I'm liking everything about it. Definitely. If you see these toys and you're a fan of Master Universe, regardless if you like the cartoon or not, the new one on Netflix. And if you haven't seen it, please check it out. I would love to know your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. But a true fan still represents the brand no matter how bad it gets and a true fan especially someone that is a consumer of the product and has bought the product for not not just a month but decades and has you know all sorts of memorabilia toys t-shirts so on they are the ones that have a right to say something you cannot silence them or shame them into not speaking their mind about something that they have adored for over years and they see changes that do not fit to the core elements of the story character etc etc so yeah you know, here we go right here. This figure is beautiful. Definitely getting, definitely got the other ones within the line. And this figure I will get doubles of because I love He-Man. I love He-Man. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. And remember, if you buy a toy, what? Bust it open! Kevin Smith lied. Until next time, my friends. <laughs>